We have learned about reflection of light by concave mirrors and on the formation of images by reflected light. Concave mirrors can produce both real and virtual images depending upon the object location. We will explore how convex mirrors reflect light and produce images. We will also find out how ray diagrams can be used to estimate image location, size, orientation and type for objects placed in front of convex mirrors. This is the convex mirror. This mirror is the part of the larger sphere. Outside the part of the sphere is coated with reflecting material in case of convex mirror while inside part is coated with reflecting material for concave mirror. The center of that original sphere is known as the center of curvature C and the line that passes from the mirror surface through the sphere's center is known as the principal axis. The mirror has a focal point F that is located along the principal axis. Midway between the mirror surface and the center of curvature, note that the center of curvature and the focal point are located behind the mirror opposite the object. Since the focal point is located behind the convex mirror, such a mirror is said to have a negative focal length value. A convex mirror is sometimes referred to as a diverging mirror due to the fact that incident light originating from the point and will reflect from the mirror surface and diverge. Observe how four incident rays originating from a point and incident towards a convex mirror reflect. These four rays will each reflect according to the law of reflection. After reflection, the light rays diverge. Subsequently, they will never intersect on the object side of the mirror. For this reason, convex mirrors produce virtual images that are located somewhere behind the mirror. Here, object is placed in front of a convex mirror. Light rays originating at the object location are shown approaching and subsequently reflecting from the mirror surface. Each observer must sight along the line of a reflected ray to view the image of the object. Each ray is extended backwards towards a point of intersection. This point of intersection of all extended reflected rays is the image location of the object. The image in the diagram is the virtual image. Light does not actually pass through the image location. It only appears to observers as though all the reflected light from each part of the object is diverging from this virtual image location. To determine image location for a convex mirror, we can revise the rules used for concave mirrors slightly. First rule is that any incident ray traveling parallel to the principal axis on the way to a convex mirror will reflect in such a manner that its extension will pass through the focal point. Second rule is that any incident ray traveling towards a convex mirror such that its extension passes through the focal point will reflect and travel parallel to the principal axis. We will use sim bucket simulation to visualize ray paths for convex mirror. Object is placed at any position along principal axis in front of the convex mirror. Its height also can be changed using slider. In all scenarios, we found out that the image is always smaller. It is located behind the mirror, hence virtual and is upright. Unlike concave mirrors, convex mirrors always produce images that share these characteristics. As such, the characteristics of the images formed by convex mirrors are easily predictable. Another characteristic of the images of objects formed by convex mirrors pertains to how a variation in object distance affects the image distance and size. The diagram shows different object locations and their corresponding image locations. The diagram shows that as the object distance is decreased, the image distance is decreased and the image size is increased. When an object approaches the mirror, its virtual image on the opposite side of the mirror approaches the mirror as well. And at that same time, the image is becoming larger. We learned about the images formed by convex mirrors and used simulation to understand 
nature of images found. Use SimBucket simulation from www.simbucket.com or similar software to learn more about image characteristics using Convex Mirror.